In this video, I'll show you how I've created the light slider cards that I'm currently using. They are just very simple and minimalistic, but as always, they work nicely with the rest of my button and sensor cards. You need to install Big Slider Card and Card Mod from Hacks. Start by adding a new card and select the Big Slider Card. Add your light entity and the card is pretty much ready to go. If you're happy with this, you could just stop here, but I want to make it look nicer. The card comes with a bunch of predefined options that we can customize. I'm adding a name, and I make sure the slider adjusts the brightness of the light. You could, for example, also create a slider that adjusts the light temperature. I set animation transition to 0.3. I set the height to 75. This matches my other sensor and button cards that I use. I adjust the background and icon color, and I specify the icon I want to use. I also enable show percentage. And lastly, I set tap action to toggle, and hold action to more info. There is also an option to colorize the card based on the light color, but I mostly use smart dimmers with dumb bulbs, so it doesn't really work for me. Alright, let's get to the meat of this tutorial, customizing the look with card mod. To add card mod we first type card underscore mod and colon, on the next line we need to add one indentation, then type style, colon, and that vertical bar glyph. Then on the third line we can start adding our CSS. For this example, I will style the divs with IDs of container, name, percentage, and slider. I start by adjusting the fonts of the name and percentage divs. As always, I want to make all my cards consistent, so I'm changing the font size and weight to be the same as my other dashboard cards. Notice how I have to add exclamation mark important to all the CSS to make it work. The percentage is similar to the name, I just make it bolder in 16px instead. I then set the slider div opacity to 1, and then, I change the background color of the slider. In my example, I've used a variable that I have set up in my theme, but you could use a website called cssgradient.io to create your own gradient. My gradient code is displayed on the screen if you want to use that. You can see that it doesn't look very good until I remove the colorize option. Alright, now I want to style the card slightly different when the light is off. To do this, we can use Jinja inside card mod. First I check if the light is on, and that's going to be the current styling. Then I create an else statement for our off styling. I then just copy everything we've already created. You might have noticed how I removed the container styling for the on state, but I'm adding it back in for the off state. Basically I want to make the card black when the light is off. So I just have to change the container background and then edit the font and icon colors to white. There obviously isn't a slider in the off state, so I just change it to style the icon instead. To remove the transparency from the icon, we need to set filter to none. And that's it for this short video. Very simple this time, but I thought it would be a good idea to let you know what light sliders I'm currently using. The previous one I've showed on this channel has a weird bug, where it pops into place when dimming the light. If you previously got that code from my Gumroad, I'll send this new one to your email. Also. This is the first time I'm uploading a video in 4K, that's why it's taken a bit longer to make. I had to redo all my animations and text templates. Let me know what you think of it and if the quality is better. Thanks for watching. Until next time.